Hello! Welcome to the Virtual Beach video tutorial series. These tutorials were created with the support of both the University of Wisconsin Sea Grant Institute and the Great Lakes Observing System. My name is Sonia and I will be leading you through these tutorials. At the website virtualbeach.org you will find all of the video tutorials, many helpful hints, and links to data sources. The 3.0.6 version of the Virtual Beach software will be used in these tutorials. Download and install the Virtual Beach program before proceeding. A link to the download page can be found at the top of virtualbeach.org. The link takes you to the United States Environmental Protection Agency website where you can download the software for free. These tutorials are intended to walk you through the Virtual Beach software that was created by the US EPA. Virtual Beach is a predictive modeling program that can assist managers in making advisory decisions at fresh and saltwater beaches. With this software, beach managers can create models to predict bacteria levels at a beach. To get the most out of these tutorials, you should be familiar with beach water sampling. If terms like now casting or predictive modeling are unfamiliar, please review the introduction from the Chicago workshop held in March 2017. You can find the presentation on the virtualbeach.org page either by clicking on the training link at the top of the page or scrolling down to the training section. Under the 2017 Chicago Workshop subsection, you will find the introductory presentation for review. Detailed directions for all of these tutorials are available at virtualbeach.org. Again, look under the training section. Under the subheading Virtual Beach Step-by-Step -step Training Modules, you will see the six training modules available. For the module discussed in each tutorial, either open the PDF on your computer or print it so you can follow along with these instructions. Data and project files for the modules can be downloaded from the Virtual Beach Step-by-Step -step Training Modules page. In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating the first module, Beach Orientation. This is the training module to open now. No additional data files are needed to complete this module. By the end of this module, you should be able to determine the orientation of a beach and save a virtual beach project file. Now, open the virtual beach program. The program begins with the Location tab in view. The first step to creating a predictive model in this program is to locate and determine the orientation of your beach. The beach orientation is used to calculate alongshore and onshore directions for wind, wave, and current data. For this exercise, you will be using Blue Harbor Beach in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Before you begin zooming into a beach, it is most helpful to change the type of map under Map Settings to Bing Hybrid, so you can see satellite images and place names on the map. On the map, the red place marker represents your point of interest but it may not be at the desired beach when the program starts. One way to find your beach is to enter coordinates under Map Controls. For Blue Harbor Beach, enter the coordinates 43.74 latitude and negative 87.7 longitude. Then, click the Go to Latitude Longitude button. The map will now center on the point, but the place marker will not change locations. In order to determine the beach orientation, the view must be zoomed in close enough to see features such as the shoreline and place names. One way to zoom in is to drag the blue marker upward on the vertical line under the word zoom to the left of the map. The map will zoom in on the center of view, not necessarily on the red place marker. If your area of interest is not in the center of the map, right click on the map and drag the cursor until the correct view is seen. Another way to zoom in on the map is to use the scroll function of your mouse. The map will zoom in on the arrow representing your cursor. If the place marker is not in view, but the correct beach is visible, just click on the map to move the place marker to your view. Continue to zoom in until you can see the label on the map for Blue Harbor Beach that is just south of the Sheboygan River. Next. Set the beach boundaries by clicking on one end of the beach, in this case, the northern end of the beach. Now, click the button Add First Beach Marker under Beach Orientation. You will know that you set it correctly once the place marker turns green. Next, click the other end of the beach, in this case, the south end where Georgia Avenue meets the shoreline. Click the button Add Second Beach Marker under Beach Orientation. Next, click on the water near the beach. 
Then click the button Add Water Marker under Beach Orientation. A blue box appears indicating where the beach is, and a value has been calculated in the Beach Orientation box. You can click Remove First Beach Marker or Remove Second Beach Marker at any point to reposition the beach. It is not critical that you get the beach orientation number exactly right. Being over or under by a few degrees is acceptable for future calculations. Note, you cannot change the value for the beach orientation by simply typing in the box. You must move the markers manually in order for the beach orientation value to be used by the program in future steps. Once your beach orientation is set, save this project on your computer. The file extension for projects created with the Virtual Beach software is VB3P. Save this project file with a distinctive name so you can find it easily when continuing with either data preparation module. A Virtual Beach project file of what your work should look like at the end of this module is available for download from the Virtual Beach step-by-step -step training modules page. It is contained in the VB Blue Harbor Beach Orientation zip file. The project file is called VB Blue Harbor Location VB3P. Do not be concerned if your beach orientation is not exactly the same as the number in this example file. It is extremely difficult to duplicate an exact beach orientation. Now that you have determined the beach orientation and saved a virtual beach project file, you can move to one of the two data processing modules to create either a GBM or MLR model.